coming up this week on Unpick. It's not enough now for people to say this person did something to me or for them to have a conversation with each other. Now it's I'm coming for your pee. She is smoking crack cocaine, baby. <laughs> what the hell? Really? Cheeked up on yeah, a that's Friday. Diff- that, that's different. That's just cheeked up on a Friday on that's... Instagram. Down <laughs> into the blood clot saying, what the hell? Cool, 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 cool. Is that what they're doing now? Doing it all. Wagwan peeps, it's Venom, what you saying? Alongside my home slice, Sammy to the Zane. When she and I get together on the poddy, ask anybody, the vibes are insane. Join our family and feel free to come by. Be on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Yeah. Need drop on the way every Monday at 6. Tune in and come see what we unpick. <laughs> so yeah, Beyonce, out of 10, what would you give it? Okay, Beyonce, out of 10. The actual no, no, no. concert. The whole thing, out of 10, what are you going to give it? Don't break it down. Just out of 10, what you give the experience? The whole thing. The experience. The whole thing. The whole thing. I don't even want to give you experience because then you will break, knowing you, you'll break it down. Just I won't break 10. it down too much. So I'll say that this, this whole Beyonce thing, uh, for me, give me a number. Is, was, was, a, was a 9 out of 10. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it was yeah. a 9 out of 10. But there's a reason why. Don't worry about all that. Uh, I have to, I have to. The concert was a seven out of ten. The additional two is because I went to see the band the following oh, day. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. that was ten out of ten. Beyonce, I didn't I don't need to see this one. I've seen all her other concerts. Mm-mm. I don't need to see this one to not. No, to you know, don't you don't need to see it. To know that Beyonce is a fantastic vocalist. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible um performer as well. The woman can run and be holding the note. Mm. dancing full f- energy still running doing all her runs like she gives a good show in it yeah so i don't need to be there to know that the reason why for me i would have probably marked lower mm. is because that's standard for beyonce that's what i expect so if she gives less than that the ratings will be yeah, even yeah, lower yeah. than that but i'm not gonna up her rating just because i know that's what she gives every single concert I would have dropped it because the album's crap, in my opinion. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. I think you not, would have def- I think you would have given it less me, because of the music. Yeah, I would yeah. have been like, I came for because when I go to see Beyonce, I already know what I'm getting. Mm. So I'm coming for the music now. Yeah. So I reckon the old school stuff that she performed that around the start of the show, I would have been like, yeah, because that's the a old bit school of me. stuff was slapping. Because her her voice has matured now as well. Mm. So it'll be interesting to hear her e- do those vocals. With the mature voice, you get it? Because I feel like with women, as they mature, their voice actually deepens. So mm-hmm, you get a mm-hmm. different range. So that would have been nice to hear. All this Renaissance, you could, Renaissance. I'm telling you, yeah. I would have been like... Some of the Renaissance I'm stuff to go. Was, was banging, but not all, which is yeah. my opinion of the album yeah, anyway. Yeah, because that was, yeah, some of the songs were But when right. I tell you, I was looking in the crowd, because I was really taking in the whole experience in a, in a different way. Of course. And when I'm watching how some of the... Ren- renaissance songs were hitting that mm. are big songs for the mm. album Mm-mm. but i'm looking at the crowd i'm like the, the movement is it's minimal not, there's only a f- couple songs that the crowd actually get gassed off when it comes to the renaissance mm. thing and and also she a lot of it was to um showcase like the vogas and stuff like that mm. from what i understand mm. right from the clips i saw i might as well have gone to the concert because i've seen all the clips and i think that her dances weren't as good as previous dances that she's had before I haven't seen previous dances. These guys were sick though, but I haven't seen No, no, no. From the clips I've seen, they're good. But I feel like Beyonce's, she's changed dances and I can tell. Yeah, yeah. It's always going to be, you know. um, They're not as good as the ones she's had before. Okay. Um, I feel like, yeah, like inconsistencies in terms of like some of the videos I've seen, not being in line with steps and stuff. I remember because I used to dance myself. Mm. I'm very like, this one, their step was off. That one is, do you know what I mean? It just wasn't in sync. It wasn't proper. But yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. I think you would enjoy it anyway. That's what yeah, I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've not gone before. It's, you're it's gonna not enjoy, a comparison for me. You're gonna enjoy it because it's Beyonce, and, and when that. Beyonce puts on a show, she puts on a show. She's not. She doesn't half ass it. Do you mm, get it? Mm, mm. So you're gonna enjoy the show. But for me, when if I'm going to listen to Beyonce at concert, I have to like the album now. No, because I already sure. know everything else is gonna be good. If if I like the album, it's just gonna take it. To the next level. Next level. Mm, yeah. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my week was pretty dry in comparison. I mean, I did go see Beyonce. I did see Beyonce's band. Damn. You did call me to come and see Beyonce's band. And I was at uh, home doing nothing. And I saw it on, on stories and I was like, wow. Interesting. 
And I love live live band. That's my yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah. Do you I call mean, me? It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> to be fair, um, <clears throat> I was uh, I, don't I hear was it. a plus one. I don't hear it. But I don't hear it. It's on cool. top of that, oh. were you prepared to be out till four a.m. midweek? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. She says this now. Yeah. She Monday. Says this now. Do you know? What I say that Monday. <clears throat> one, um, do you know what? You lot are going to see this late anyway, so it doesn't matter. But basically, um, at the start of the week, I. W- me and one of my girls, we went out for drinks and all that. And it was her first time out since having a baby. Oh, okay. And shout I, out to you. And I was, shout out. And I was very honoured that she chose me as the first person she's going to go out with mm. since having baby, in it. Yeah. Listen, didn't get in till mad late. Had to go into the office the next day. It got to like, after lunch, I was fine. After lunch. Yeah, it's a wrap. My head said, it's spinning. You need to sleep now. You need to sleep like yesterday. Mm-mm. I said, wow, I really thought I'd, I'd beat it. Because you know, there's that thing when you, that over 30, when you go out, you, it's it's harder for your body to recover. Lately, lately, I don't know if it's because now I'm on my healthy eating thing. I've been mm-hmm. working out, you know, everything's, you know, um, I've got more energy now, in it? So I was thinking, yeah, I beat the case. Mm-hmm. One thirty, I was at my desk like this. Uh, okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, time was mad late, by the way? I got well. I didn't go to. I didn't get to sleep till about four okay. in the morning. So, and then I had to get up at six. So I was rock, rocking with two hours sleep. That's your business. That's actually your business. And I didn't work from home the next day. I yeah, had to go that's to the actually office. your business. Literally, and I walked in. My boss was like, "You okay?" I was like. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm running on two hours sleep. He goes, two hours sleep? I was like, yeah. And then I told him why. And he goes, it's self-inflicted. I don't feel sorry for you. Damn. You'd even tell. I, could, I would not tell, boy. I don't care. I'm... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. I forget. I forget. I don't care. I forget. So, anyway. Yeah. So, right. Let's greet the let's greet the peoples. Shall I do your intro? Hey, hello. Hi, peeps. It's your boy, Venom. Alongside my home slice. Dami Zane. In the house. Welcome to Unpicked. Listen, That's what l- I want let to me do. not lie to you. The energy today might be a little bit off, innit? Just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Because She's tired. She's running on two hours sleep. I'm running on two hours sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> let me not, let, let me not cap. You look, get used to it because this summer I'm outside. I'm wow. outside. Yes, I even raised my voice slightly. I'm outside. So just expect that when I come to record, I'm going to be half hearing it. I can't promise that I can give the same. The same vim because she's going to be outside this year. I'm going to be outside. Outside. Me, I'm going to be a Tom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be relaxing. Uh, anyway, guys, let us know how you're doing, what are your plans for the week. How was your weekend? All that good stuff. If you're mm-hmm. new to the show, welcome. Hope you subscribe. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. I don't know. Let's just get into this or that. Yeah, man. Let's get yeah, let's, let's get, get into, into the thing. It. I also have glasses on because I'm very, very exhausted. Because what was you doing? I was partying after party. Party Ce- after Celebrating party. life. That's exactly. All. He too, he was outside. So, But it was just a restaurant. I was seated. But and, I was and not... yet you got home at what time? <laughs> Uh, two, like two, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how did this happen? <laughs> and I was not trying. You know, like sometimes you're trying to make this last night, this yeah, night last, sorry, yeah, forever. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. even that. I was just chilling. Yeah. And then I said, guys. <laughs> what are we still I, doing? I said, yeah. I didn't DJ today, but I'm still getting home the same time. <sighs> you thought you were going to buy I back f- some time, innit? I thought I was going to get the oh, rest in the that worst. I missed from the week. You had a good time though. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It was for good cause as well. Yeah, yeah. For birthday, so. All right, cool. This or that. Let's go. Right, this or that. <clears throat> Damn it to the Zane. Mm, that's my name. Right. So, would you rather go in the past and meet your ancestors, in particular, like your family, mm. or would you rather go into the future and meet your great great grandchildren? Great great grandchildren. Okay. Would you rather have the perfect body as you see it? Mm-hmm. Or would you rather have the perfect partner? Perfect body as I see it. Hmm. 
Final question. Wait. No, you can't go back. I have to. No, you can't go back. I have to. You can't go back. I have to. What do you mean? You've already... I have to. I'm the genie. The wish is done. Okay. Okay. But till today, you haven't done your challenge for what's it called. So I can change the rules as well. <laughs> I'm not happy with my answer. So I'm changing it. I'd, I'd go for the perfect partner because I'm guessing the perfect partner will love me as I am right now. Of course they would. So perfect partner, companionship. It's a shame you didn't choose them. I was didn't. <laughs> that is what I chose. And that's what's going to be on the screen. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> but anyway because city girls is down it's not up I'm i know not, it's down i know it's down line. okay your last one right right would you rather do something you love and make just enough money to get by or do something you hate and make billions uh something i love okay yeah i'm not driven by money okay yeah just wanted to check now. Just wanted to check. Because that's a miserable life. You can have all the money you want. But oh. but it's only the work you're hating. Nah. You work, what, 35 hours a week? Minimum? That's most of your life in a job that you hate. Mm. Nah. When you're younger, it's like, oh, money, money, money. And then as you get older, you value other things. And you're like, you know what? Oh, for sure. I hate this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Sorry. But I love. And I'll get by. It's okay. Okay so we already spoke about beyonce mm -hmm. who is in concert last week mm -hmm. i've seen mm -hmm. her etc uh summer walker have you seen that she just released a new album i've not heard it because i've listened to like two two tracks i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not really on the summer walker hype yeah really? it's crazy isn't it really yeah i'm not on it okay is that so, because of albums or I've what? listened to two previous albums, EPs. They're the last two drops that she's done. The albums, um, yeah. The yeah, albums, yeah. okay. So I've listened to those. And she's she's talented. Mm -hmm. She can sing. Mm -hmm. Her vibe is R and B and I'm i I'm an R and B babe. I just have a thing about new school R and B. I'm struggling to like really connect with it. So, the whole album, her, the whole of her last two albums didn't do it for me. There was mm. just a few tracks mm -hmm, here with mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. But saying that, have I listened to it since then? No. Yeah. So, I've not rushed to go and listen to this album because listening to the other albums, I've not listened to some of the songs on there since i yeah, first since heard it. it so i'm not really in a rush she's not like a favorite like oh my god i gotta hear everything yeah i hear it when i come to it but there's no like it's out now I need I'm, to I'm gonna i haven't done it yet because i just mm. haven't had a moment mm. but i'm about to get into it reason being okay my sister introduced me to summer walker from like early in her mm. career mm. when she had this a, a really good song on on an ep mm. and i listened to the ep my sister did not because she doesn't listen to whole albums anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh, I actually really like this girl. This is the second part to that EP. Okay. So it's called, it's called Clear 2, I think. Okay. And the first one was called Clear. And I would definitely recommend the EP. Because I've listened to her albums. And mm -hmm. I'm like, they're cool, but mm -hmm. it's a different vibe. The, the, those EPs were very, they felt more genuine. Okay. And less like this is commercial music for people mm. to sell and concert and stuff. Okay, I really I'll enjoy give the, the EPs, EPs a try. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll listen to it eventually. I'll come round to it at but some point in time. I'll be honest with you. Most of the R and B girlies of nowadays, mm. I'm not like buzzing. So Scissor? No. Yeah, I'm in between. I mean, the, what's that album she did? The last, the the newest Control, one. Control was it? Control O. Oh. I don't know what it was called, you know. The one with her, like, oh, on over on the sea. Grass. No, oh, she's the, sitting on grass. Oh, with Good Thing in My Mind. Da, 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 yeah, da, yeah, yeah. That, that, that album. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, okay. I still listen to that. But I don't know. There's something about the R&B girlies right now. I mean, Ari, Ari Lennox. Uh, yeah, oh, she's... I'm about, oh, her. I'm about yeah. Ari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about Ari. Sorry. That's the only one. The others... What about you, you um, hyping up um, Coco Jones? I do like Coco Jones. With Coco Jones, I really appreciate her talent and I also think she's really attractive. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I was surprised that I'd never seen her 
or heard that's of her before. I was, I was like, like you've not seen Coco Jones? Like, this girl's beautiful. She's and she got sick vocals. I feel like vocals. she's like right up your street. No, she is. Yeah. That's why I'm very good at picking people's system. I still need to listen to her music. I still haven't. Yeah, she's got she's got some good songs, but she's very she's she's very like attractive. Brand, okay. Yeah, I thought you were very attractive. Brand new. She's got a very good. She is kind of new to the game, but yeah, like I don't know, I don't know. I just I feel like music isn't what it was, and I'm really starting to mm. sound like an old person. No, no, I agree though, because you know what it is. The, the same R and B is different, and I think that the. I, I think like there's far more girls in R and B right now, at least at the level, if you know what I mean. Do you know what? I'm more of into the R and B mandem right now. But who's out there mandem wise? So Sir, for example. Okay, yeah. Yeah, love Sir's, Sir. Sir's amazing. Um I love um I call it DVSN, but then I was told it's oh, division. division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though it's a duo. Um, who else do I like? I like um Damn, all the names have gone out of my head now that now that I'm talking about them. Caesar. Daniel Caesar. Yeah, Daniel Caesar, I like him. He dropped a new album as well. Have you Which listened? I've listened to. Okay, I haven't got there yet. Yeah. All of I wanna I wanna watch I've the interview because in the interview he discusses the thing that got him cancelled back in the day. Yeah. And I wanna digest that before I even yeah, listen yeah, to yeah, the yeah, okay. album. Fair enough. Who else is there? Daniel Caesar's top. Then Sir. Really? Yeah, oh, I love Sir. No, you said Daniel Caesar's top, and He's then up Sir, there, and then Sir. There's another guy. Why can't I remember his name? It's lack of sleep, but I'll drop the names. On the Sammy's favorite man then from the R and B scene. Yeah. I think that the well, the man then that you at least mentioned there, as in, namely Sir and um, Daniel and Daniel, they write and sing, not necessarily in the old school way. But like in a in a more normal way, because but I think a lot I'm of the saying. girls is, do the new. They do. I feel like it's the so, flow it's, just keep changing that style. I feel like our the girls R and B now is like it's like airy, fairy. How I don't know how to explain it. It's not. It's not. It's not Destiny's Child. It's like pop poppy. R, can I even call it poppy R and B? I don't even like, know if it's pop. maybe. Is it alternative R and B? Yeah, it's giving, I think it's alt. It's alt. It's giving alt R and B. And I'm just like, I just want R and B. Yeah, I need the vanilla stuff. I just need R I just want R and B. I miss R and B. And so the guys for me win it when it comes to the R and B. Yeah, it's I didn't a shame. really think oh, of that. I ain't got then, my man. phone on me because I did the top five. On your I, phone. Yeah, it's on my phone, but I can't remember. I can't I don't have No, that's an interesting yeah, one though. It's on there, you're, but you're I'm, right. I'm, yeah, I feel like the guys I think the guys do R and B and the girls do, do alt R and B. Yeah, they the guys do R and B and it's really annoying me that I can't think of the other names, but it's cause my head's just not Not in the game. Yeah. Um I don't know if you know these people because I don't know them, but I'm banking on the fact that you know them. But you might not. What is it? Um, is this this girl named um Dana Morell. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know of her? Do you know of this situation that's going on currently with I've her? I've heard and her that there's something going on between her and her ex husband. Have I gone so far as to find out the tea? No. No, I know the tea, but give like tea. this is the top line tea. Yeah, give me the tea. So she's a musician and obviously yeah. works on the YouTube team. Yeah, she does. Um, so is oh, I know what you're gonna tell me. He deleted all her videos. Yeah. yeah so apparently, yeah. she has a. They had yeah, because he cheated. Right. They were married. Yeah. See, I said I don't know the tea. I know, but this is what I said. I said, I'm banking on you yeah, yeah, to know. Yeah, of course I know it. Of course I know it. Yeah, he cheated. Yeah. Yeah. And he used to be a lot, like, heavily on her show. Like, they okay. used to do yeah, the yeah, tea yeah. together. But it was mainly her platform. And then um, he cheated. He, like, apparently he was cheating throughout. Throughout the relationship and that. For quite a cons- uh-huh, significant uh-huh. amount of time. They divorced. Right. Mm-hmm. He then took it upon himself to go on her. Allegedly. No, he's he's on a video now talking about it. Yeah, he said that he didn't do that. Mm. Anyway, he said that he went on their joint one and mm. deleted the videos there. But it's not the first time he's done it. He's done it okay, a second okay. time. So the second time he went on her actual one. On her one. Yeah. yeah. And then he changed all the titles of the videos Episodes. the second time. Because the first time she was able to if you've got the title of the video, even you if it's can, been you deleted, can bring it back. you can get YouTube to like bring it back, right? But the second time he did it, he changed all the titles. And then deleted And them. then deleted it so that she couldn't re- re- uh, recoup the, the videos. Mad. And these are videos that 
she's like endorsements are yeah, on she there. Said like bent like landmarks in her career. Landmarks type thing. in her career. And I know in the video he denied some of it, but Yeah. So first of all, that video, I didn't watch it all. Right. I, I just went off I pressed I didn't press play, sorry. I was scrolling aimlessly. Mm. It came up. Yeah. I took it in for like two seconds yeah. and just went off vibes. Yeah. My initial vibe had nothing to do with the content of that video. He looked like he was acting. I was like, fair enough. But what I actually thought, or rather the same thing that ran through my mind was the same thing that ran through my mind when Philip Schofield came on the TV and now said he's gay. And I was like, wait, people thought you were straight. That's what I thought about him. I said, is this guy her? Because I saw her story from wait, wait, wait. When you say when you say that's what you thought, are you saying you thought he was gay? I thought he was gay, one hundred percent. Really, one hundred percent. Literally, as soon as I saw him, I don't know if he cheated with a man or not. But I just so your gay dad just went up. Literally, immediately. I don't trust my gay dad anymore. Really, Mm -mm, don't trust it. He, for me, I immediately, and I was like, oh, this is her husband. Okay. I don't trust my gay dad. I don't know. We'll see. I trust mine, boy. But I'm not saying that, you know, I, I don't know the guy saying, like that. Okay. He just looked like he was lying, but I didn't listen to, to I, I can't say that. You I, know what I mean? Allegations are allegations. Allegations are allegations, but I don't see what she gains. Yeah, from destroying her own thing and then ra- from ranting lying about, about it. it. <laughs> from, <laughs> like lying, you just, from li- I don't see what she gains from lying about what he what he has done. Yeah, and if you know anything about how like YouTube monetization works, that's literally an attack on someone's uh, on her finances. Money. <laughs> yeah, because even it, like you don't make money, uh, you don't just make money from the video at the time that you yeah, create the like, video. That's consistent from that point on. Yeah, if, if it's a, every, if it's a, a video that people c- still want to watch, watch that's messing with her monthly pay. Yeah, man. So that was wild. He's a hater. He's definitely a hater. He was definitely acting, like doing a lot for the camera. Like the whole way he was speaking, but the whole the whole vim that he was given. Yeah. I've only seen that particular type of vim mm. from my friends who are that way. And that's why I was like, wait, what? Oh, okay. It was it was how he was I mean behaving. Not she's that she's there's revealed a particular what she's way. revealed, but we'll never know exactly yeah. what this issue is. So we just don't know. But yeah, yeah anyway. It was a very interesting one for Speak. me. Speak. Very interesting. But yeah, I, I don't know why people are being so like vin no, it's not really vin, it's just It's vindictive. But you know what I mean? Like I find, I, I find a lot of the stories that are coming to the fore recently, what, recently that are like fallouts between people are very people are being very like malicious. particularly yeah, malicious yeah, yeah, towards yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. In the in uh the, how they split rather than It's not than, enough to talk anymore. It's online. not enough to all right, you know what? Cool, I don't want to talk to you no more. It's not even enough. I mean, it's not been enough. That's not been enough for ages. But we went for a period where people would go online and bash people, like talk about their business. It's Mm. not enough to do that anymore. Now it's like, I'm coming for your money. Yeah, like I think there's a whole different, like I understand if someone's wronged you or Mm. what, and you have to vent. Mm. And obviously before people just call their friend and say whatever, and you you choose to go online now, write it all down and out them. Mm. I don't think that's bad. It's just not good practice. Is what it's I not think. my type of thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, I'm very much a. We're not talking no more. Yeah. I wish you the very best, and I don't need to have your name in my mouth anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's my. If you want to talk about vibe? me for the rest of your life, mm. that's your business. But as for me, I don't care about you anymore. I don't yeah, care enough yeah, it's just, to it's talk like, about you. It's cool. like you. I told you already. Mm. Once that, once, once I've burnt that bridge, you don't exist. Mm. So there's nothing for me to say. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. wished you well. Toodaloo bye because now i'm focusing on the people that are in my life in my life the people that matter you don't yeah. matter anymore so there's no need for me to discuss you like that yeah that thing, but people now i don't know that thing is even, mad it's, it's crazy people go for like go like like we're in a time now where and i don't know i i, I kind of i kind of agree with this to be fair mm. but like you know when someone does something crazy outside and people record it and then they put it on tiktok yeah. or whatever and then it goes on it's always Twitter, it ends up on Twitter, and then people start finding out employer. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. that, and then mm-hmm. they start like, oh, this person works for you. And then they'll put like their internet picture or something from the, do you know what I mean? Yeah, from HR. From HR and then at the company. And they'll be like, 
look at what your employee is doing. Next thing you know, that person's having an investigation because, and it goes really far. So yeah. we're, we're in a time now where people are like, um, seek revenge. It's not enough yeah, to be but- like, you've gone viral because you did something stupid. Or this person did something to me and we just talk about it. Now it's like, okay, we want to end it. Yeah, we want to, to finish end, them. I need to finish you. Finish him. Literally. Fully. Literally. That's the, that is the vibe now. I think cancel is done. Now it's not. I will cancel you. It's not even. No, this is cancel different level. This yeah. is. We're coming for your money. Literally. Like, I've even seen like, obviously, there's pe- there's girls out there that have lash comp- businesses, hair businesses mm. and stuff. They don't register it with company's house. Or hairdressers that don't register it if company's house. So, you know, once you register it, tax. Mm-hmm. So now you give someone bad customer service, you sweat someone really, or they just didn't like the fact that you was five minutes late. Yeah. Or they don't like your terms and conditions and you took the piss. Okay. They'll go and search company's house, which anyone can check. Yep. You're not there, boom, report you, boom, that's it. Yeah, now you're getting right. fines. Yeah, left, right, and center for undeclared earnings. Because people, it's not enough now for people to say, this person did something to me, or for them to have a conversation with each other. Now it's, I'm coming for your pee. And I don't think people realise just how deep that is. Like, li- literally, the money is what's used to sustain my life. So, actually, you're making an attempt on my life. Do you know what's funny? Most people have side hustles that they probably have not declared anyway. Mm. So, the same person that's going to report probably has their own. Yeah, has their own It's mad, in it? Mm. Anyway. <laughs> Even talking about that HR thing, sorry, getting, like, people fired yeah, and yeah, that. Yeah. There was a story that I didn't. I didn't write it down, but this has made me remember. In yeah. America, yeah. where this guy in New York just snatched this black girl's um, wig off her head. Oh, I see. At that. night. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And then yeah, you yeah, see yeah. where that went. It wasn't a black guy. No, no, no. A black girl's. A, bl- a white guy. Yeah, a white and guy. And he's an attorney. Yeah. He snatched off this, I think black, it was like a, a black girl's Afro, um, wig. Afro wig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they found and him. She, 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 posted she it. chastised him on the street. Like, why you do that? Yeah. Like, what makes you. That should have been where it ended. But, but no. Psst, the internet said, mm, I, well, his face attorney. is clear. I know he's that face. Att- he's an attorney. Is this who we're trusting to, to represent Uphold people in the court? law. Mm. Mm. My man got fired immediately. That firm said, that guy don't work with us no more. <laughs> no, but you know what? Yeah. Oh, man. I like to think that I'm very balanced. Mm. You can tell me if you don't agree. But I tend to do the whole what is fair to both sides like as in terms of like any race any gender mm-hmm, mm-hmm. any i'm very much like if this community has done wrong they've done wrong yeah period i don't care if i'm in alignment with them or not i'm gonna say right black women i don't know if i'm ready to go down <laughs> remember we're taking a break of this episode though <laughs> You're just gonna, it's I'm just ready. gonna be festering you won't be able to Rebuttal for uh, a few weeks. Is this the last one before we go on a break? The last oh, one. Do you know what it is, yeah? Take the dive. Do you know what it is, yeah? <laughs> I love black. I love black women. I Don't love do the my- sandwich. Hold on, hold Don't on, do on, the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. And we've been through it. I'm a black woman myself. I know how it feels to Mm. be discriminated against. I know that people are harder on us than anyone else. Believe it or not. I know black men have their own. You guys have your own, but at least you've got black women supporting you. We don't have anybody. They don't, we we have to support ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I get it. But at the same time, sometimes we don't help ourselves. In what sense? Oh, in every sense. I I hate it when like I I see like black men say things about black women and I'm like you know what I can't even be mad at you yeah because if you're looking at just women online I've seen it too that's what it looks like I get it like the amount of black guys I speak to and they're like oh black women all they care about is what the black man can do for them how much money can you spend on me where can you take me to and I'm like you know what I used to fight and argue not all of us then I go on Twitter or I go on TikTok and it's just looking plenty. That's all that's there. And it's like, you know what? I can't even be mad at you for having those beliefs. I can't mm, be mm, mad at you. Mm, mm. I can't be mad at you. I can't be mad at you. If that's what is there, then the thing believe is, I, what I don't, you believe. I, the, the women who don't have those views and, and think in that way, they just probably just aren't even in them spaces. And if they see those spaces, they just ignore it. Like it or, I feel like they don't partake. Or, or they are. Like I, like I said, I don't think I'm the typical what you see online mm. type of woman. And we just don't get, we just don't get, people don't like some of the things that we have to say. Yeah. I don't like when people call themselves real. 
So I'm not going to call myself real because I hate it, right? But I like to think that I look at things from a balanced standpoint. Like yeah. I really take into account both like sides of the of the of the argument and then try and come to some sort of conclusion based on, you know, and I'm looking at things and I'm just like the way that we're heading, it's not cute. It's not cute. Especially yeah, when yeah. I, the younger generation, black women, mm, mm, Yeah. I don't I mean, like where it's going. And it's like, well, how are we supposed to rise up and be better if this is what we see? And there's a few there's a few women who advocate for the betterment of black women and um, I love their content. Mm-hmm. But it's like I feel like it's falling on deaf ears because then you again you look online and you're seeing like something someone said to me recently and I was like I can't even again hold you to I can't even be upset with you it goes back to the whole how women dress thing and they were like the reason why a lot of you black girls aren't getting guys like that is because all of you show off your bodies online just like that like you get we get to see everything for free Mm. and if you're the one girl that's like no I'm gonna have standards the next girl doesn't so it doesn't have to be you I'll just go somewhere else it's okay I get what I want and I was like you know what yeah DLT motor. I don't know if you've heard about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They, 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 they're content. there now, right? Yeah, my cousin's I mean, filming. As we're recording, well, they're my there now. Filming. All the content I've seen of the girls, cheeks out, breasts out, everything mm, out. Mm, mm. Everything out. And you're on, the, you're on a beach holiday, I get it. But my, all the content we see is you with a thong bikini. Mm. And everyone's showing off bum bum. Everybody's showing off cheeks. Yes, what? It's crazy, right? So then it's like I can't be mad. I can't be mad if this is what they say about us. But I can't is, be mad. This is what I say when you don't when there's no physical space and no um physical infrastructure that helps govern the community, then it's just basically individuals left to their own devices. So then it becomes the the, the smallest mindset that champions, yeah. you know what I mean? Rather than the biggest one that influences. But even down to how they how they um conduct themselves. Like when you look online, so black women have the whole we're aggressive stereotype right we're rude come on mm-hmm. you know the typical stereotypes yeah. we're rude we 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 talk nasty like in terms of like the way we cuss we cuss okay stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah 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 mm-hmm. we talk down on people we're aggressive we're this or that you look at discourse online yeah comment sections women. yeah 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 it's 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 a lot it's intense <laughs> and it's they want to complain that we're not this we're not okay i get it you're frustrated but why are you talking like that there's a better way to you know what i mean like there's I think a, the issue there's, is there's a, oh i don't know man i'm tired the issue is <laughs> that this is the generation in between so we're the generation that was raised on you know what i mean old school values and mm. then we move with the times and, yeah. and life changes and online becomes a thing mm-hmm. then there's a generation that almost get raised by the parents who aren't so strict on the old school values mm-hmm. um, and online is much more of a thing. So they, they don't, re- so I think our, our online etiquette comes from just the values that our parents upheld that has nothing to do with online. Then there's a gap yeah, in the middle. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah, think yeah. like us as parents, so when these in 18 years from now, those kids, they will have similar values maybe to us that will apply online. But there's a skipped generation where people don't have as strong of values as old school and they don't have the understanding of, oh, this is the ramifications of talking online in this kind of crass way, expressing your opinions as if no one else can see. There's a lot of people in our generation, believe it or not, that actually... I was in our generation. Yeah, that buy into it. They buy into it and they talk that way and they act that way. So... I don't know. But, but they just they just got lost in the source. That happens to I, that happens to anybody. I mean, I hear it, but it's just like, wow. And I don't know, maybe as a black man, maybe you could probably f- maybe you might feel a bit the same about black guys when you look at what's online. I don't really see a lot of black guy content online. To be fair, you don't really look at TikTok and Twitter and stuff. I reckon if you, you think did, it's more TikTok. Yeah, I think if you did, if you went on TikTok and Twitter, they're the two I would say toxic places where you really get to see a lot of what black men and black women are doing and what they're saying and what they're putting out there into that into the into the world mm. social media wise instagram's died down instagram you get the big viral stuff depending on what you follow and most of it is aesthetic yeah so you yeah, don't yeah. get to see or hear discourse on instagram but when you go on twitter you see discourse mm. when you go on tiktok you see discourse and that's where you get to see where the generation is at 
in, to, in our community and on both platforms you'll get to see that black women are very argumentative and very you know the what they're trying to not portray is actually what they've what's, ended what's up being portraying. portraying yeah and the and black men are proving themselves to be quote unquote dusties as these women are calling them because mm. i found a thread yeah on twitter yesterday this guy found and there was a viral video on tiktok of this couple they're in their 50s right and black man black woman mm-hmm. very attractive couple um the woman still got it right she's one of those 50 year old women that you know she took care of her body mm. wonders on bunda do you know what i mean like she looked good mm-hmm. right and they asked them where did you guys meet and um the guy was talking about how he pulled her at some event or whatever with yeah. her friends and like it was just like babes come here type thing and spend money on her or whatever whatever and they hit it off and since then they've been together ever since right mm-hmm. and they asked the guy what do you love about your your wife and he was like she's a provider for the family like he said all these lovely things about her like she holds it down she's smart she's this she's that they asked the woman and she goes he um what did she say she said that he provides that's all she said Mm. that he provides and someone i'm guessing is a black guy because i don't see any other race actually doing this he posted it and he goes you see when i tell you people that black women are not nice women you don't believe me but listen to what she said right Mm. and i thought let me entertain myself i didn't want to trigger myself i just wanted to laugh right i don't know why i thought this would be funny but i thought let me pre the comments underneath this thread every single black guy under that thread yeah was like yeah black women are trash that's why i'll never date them i'm talking thousands yeah of replies mm. then i pre the quote tweets let's say if i was gonna pers- do it by percentages let's just say 20 percent of the black guys in there were like you didn't hear what he said about her clearly she's a good black woman for him to say all those things about her that's why he provides for her but you're seeing it as because she said that he provides she's a gold digger she's this she's that Mm. didn't even listen to what he had to say about his partner that black women are great i don't know why you lot are trying to do you know Mm, what i mean mm, mm. the other 80 percent so when i see stuff like that now i can't even i can't be mad at the girl saying black men don't like us because when you see posts like that i send it to your camera you have to it's like i can't deny it it, it is yeah, what it is. When yeah. you see the discourse, you're like, okay, I get it. I get why some people are so pressed because if this is what they see all the time, what else are they going to believe? Kanye, Adidas. Oh yeah, out. didn't Kanye win his case? So I'm not sure. So it's I don't know if that's the best way to put it. What I read specifically mm-hmm. is that previously Adidas froze 75 million from the Yeezy accounts that would become Kanye money. Yeah. And they got an injunction on it from the court, so it's legal. Yeah. Even though it feels very un- illegal, it's legal. Now, that injunction or that freezing state has come to its term, mm. so they've applied to get it frozen again. And the reason why is they claim that uh, giving that money over to Yeezy, Yeezy is apparently on the road to bankruptcy, so it will um, be non-beneficial to their, to their company to do that. But the court ruled otherwise. So they have to give Kanye this money. Okay. So what this now has meant for them is that where they've taken all the easy product off, hidden it, uh, you know what I mean, and trying to work out what they were doing with it, they now have reverted to the idea that they will sell the stock because they have a stock issue. They have product that is designed and good to go and packaged and they have cut ties with Kanye, but they own the product. So they've they've uh, they've done their little... PR piece. So is, is, is Kanye going to get money though for these products? Um, I believe he will get his cut of whatever. I don't know how their business works, but if he already got paid before, you know what I mean? And then they sell it and they make their own money. I don't know. But um, that could be the Ooh. cause of the, the 75 million. But essentially they have done their think piece and wrote their bit about it and whatnot and said that essentially they, they'll be given this, some of the proceedings to um, some of the Jewish uh charities that are like anti-semitism and that kind of stuff but they will be selling this easy product okay all right 
All right. And I want your boy wanted to get some, but then they did it through that confirmed thing, which which lets me know that they're on on nonsense. Because if you had a stock issue mm. and you want to get rid of that stock you just ASAP, do a sale you would just something. put it on your website and say the Buy easy it. product must go. Buy it. No, but you're doing theatrics. Why? Why are you doing Yeezy level theatrics for a product and a brand that you no longer want to support? Because that's how Yeezy's been doing it and it works. But, that, but does it make sense if you're cutting ties with this business and you really don't? Like, they could. They were better off. Oh, no, but it's, got, it's a joint venture and it's got Adidas on the product, so they're going to want to sell it themselves without. What did you say they were better off giving it to him? And letting him do what he wants to do with it, but obviously he would make money out of it, and they will want a cut because it's got their name on it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Well, it made no sense to me, boy. I think it makes sense for them to do it that way because that's how they've been selling Yeezy products. And yeah, people but that are into Yeezy, that's what they're gonna expect. I would have said mm, it's not my business. I think they make more money for this way. You think they make more money? Yeah. I think if you put the stock up, scalpers will clean you out immediately. That's what I would want. If I'm if I'm trying to sell out of a product that I no longer want, mm. I don't care if, if it all gets bought by like bots and people who are going to then resell it because the brand that is going, like the, the brand of Yeezy mm. is not my product. I'm not going to be a beneficiary of that after the point. So I don't really care how your brand is handled as I'm exiting your brand after having a complete media fallout. Doesn't Yeezy get some of the some of the peas? Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying the brand, the brand of Yeezy, like the way Adidas is doing it is upholding the brand of Yeezy as mm. well as the product. It might be that that's what's been contractually agreed. Maybe, maybe. Because you think Yeezy's going to just let them... Just just flog it. Just flog it anyhow. I'm sure he... he, he he himself would have been like, if you're going to sell it, you're going to do it right. You're going to do it. You're going to do it I'm, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to do it right. Wild. But Yeezy will be all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he will be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. You know, he's married again. I'm like, when did that happen? Oh, it happened like ASAP. It just went quiet after that. Um, what was her name? Sarah Fox? Sandra Fox? Yeah. After that weird relationship, then he went quiet. Then he came back up. Then he went quiet, married. Came he's, back up. See what I mean by guys that even let themselves heal. They just be jumping from person to person, from pum pum to pum pum. He, he's 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 he been destroyed though. He he been broken. He been broken before he got married. That's how he got there in the first place. Kim said that she reckons Kanye's behavior will be more damaging to the kids than her sex tape. I know she what is. What do you think about that? She is smoking crack cocaine, <laughs> baby. What the hell? Really? <laughs> what the hell? You don't think Kanye's behavior? I don't think at any point in time could you look at a video or or know of the existence of a video of your mother having sex on the worldwide internet that I know that like everybody saw it. Because you know, like obviously we were talking about what's his name, T M Wayne the other day and mm. saying, Oh man, like Mm-mm. things leak. Mm. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just acknowledging that. We did talk about him uh, last week. Right. <laughs> so, those women mm-hmm. unknowingly, yeah, as in they participated knowingly maybe, but unknowingly to them, the, these sexual exploits have now become public. It's and, out there. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's different because maybe you weren't making a, a, a tape to do that. Mm. And now people have seen it. Cool. That's people in the ends. People in America don't care about Mm-mm. some girls that was banging T on Wayne. Allegedly, you know, it's 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 no one cares. It's, it's actually normal in America for that kind of thing, anyway. Yeah, it's actually yeah. no one cares. No one cares. However, Kim Kardashian no offense, no offense. is like, you know, what I mean, some social icon. Her mom's out here pushing. Ray J's out here doing up. I hit it first. Everyone's out here marketing this sex tape. What should I give the sloppy in that? And it's now, trash as well. and Sorry. I know, and now <laughs> you have to, oh, you have to live knowing this. Mm, I hear it, but 
Imagine everybody knows that that I their mother's both. lips might have done some untoward things, you know, in this lifetime. Of course. But you don't feel no way to be like, oh, that's my your mom. Your mind don't and go there, that's it. You just don't think about it. Because exactly. I exist, someone must have done something. But you just don't think about it. Exactly. But now it's, there's, there's a recording out there. And it's not just that the recording is there and you know, is your friends know. But this is the thing, this is what I mean by nowadays, like all this OnlyFans and, you know, mm. all of that. It's now these people's pick me them gonna grow up and know that their mom's booty was out when they went to DLT Motor. No, not necessarily, because OnlyFans is behind a paywall. No, 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 I said DLT Motor. Oh, what's DLT? Mom, DLT Motor. DLT. Motor. 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 I'm hearing motor. Oh, uh, sorry. My bad. It, I was. I just weren't expect. I weren't. Sorry, it's not even you. Girls with the booties out, cheeks yeah, out, yeah, yeah. cheeked up on yeah, a that's Friday. Diff- that, that's different. That's just cheeked up on a Friday on that's, Instagram. That's that's on Twitter. That's them enjoying on TikTok, being young. Uh, so you think I would be hell uncomfortable if I saw pictures of my mum enjoying whatever the with her cheeks out back in the day? I'd be like. But mom, but like, they had their own standard of what cheeks out was. Do you know what I mean? No, but that's what I'm saying. Nowadays, cheeks out is cheeks out. Yeah, and by the time these people's you think kids, they be naked. it would be naked. Everyone would just be walking around naked. Free the nipple. Yeah, it was. I won't lie. If they like, if if free the nipple was a thing now, I mean, it kind of is. But if it was like a thing where people, I feel like it's faded away, man. I was a pioneer. I but would if, pioneer. I, free I, think the, that I would free the nipple. Faded. I, I'll free it. I was been here for free the nipple. The nipple but, be outside. Definitely taking a back seat. Just (laughs) chilling. I'd rather free the nipple than show my cheeks. I mean... From a guy's perspective, what's more... What was more tantalizing? No. What's because it depends if you're a breast guy, bum guy or both. It doesn't matter, right? Mm. But I mean like, what's more... Ah, she's really showing herself. Is it booty cheeks? What's the context here? Are we like out at a party or is this nah, on, like, nah, on a beach? No, no, just like you're scrolling online or you're just, walking down the road. What is more like, in whoa. A, in an urban environment. We live in the city, by the way. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're walking down the road, not even online. Mm-hmm. Walking down the road. Yeah. What is more, oh, she is showing a lot. Through the nipple or, or, or the cheeks? <laughs> If she's showing the cheek, she's on road. She's walking past you. Yeah, what would be more? Whoa, she's showing a lot. Would it be through the nipple? But I'm, the imagine, I'm imagining both of them being like all voluped. Yeah, yeah, like because you know that the smaller is the less. Uh, yeah, no, I know, you know that. What I, mean? I know that because m- with my boobs, yeah, it's annoying because people just think I'm trying to be a hoe. It's because not. you're like they're I'm wearing just the big. same top that they're flat big. chested girl is wearing. I don't know about them being that big. They're just, they're more than a little handful. <laughs> <laughs> they are big, oh. They're big. Chill out. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I get <sighs> it. So, yeah, what would be more like, Ra, she's really, she's outside. So, if a girl's in, like, batty riders or if a girl's in, because you know what I do, like, I like those crop tops where you're, the giving, where you're giving the under boob. I love it, too. Under boob is... I know is, what I'm doing when I wear that outside. Under boob is problematic, you know. I know what I'm doing when I wear it outside. So... But, yeah. It's just that you can't put your hands up. If you're a big chested girl, you can't. Yeah, you can't do that. Everything, everything just flick what? on top of the nipple. Every, <laughs> every single one. <laughs> that's real free the nipple. Um, okay, let me give you outfit. Yeah. She's... It's either... She's wearing, like... Booty shorts, but the booty shorts are almost like thong yeah, type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I was so seeing it in my head. Cheeks anyway. are really the cheeky. cheeks are all rounding underneath. And it's juicy and yeah. it's oiled up and it's whoa, right? The other one is she's got big, not maybe not big, but nice shaped volump breastesses, perky breastesses. She's in a sheer top. Sheer, ah, no underneath. Bra. Yeah, that sheer is killing it, you know. That shit with is the and she might have a nipple ring or a, yeah. or a, um a tassel over the top, but not a not a cover. Not no a, cover. So she might have like her nipples might be pierced or something yeah. or whatever. And she's got like a sheer top. So from afar you can't see that the breast is out. As you get closer, obviously yeah. the way the sheer works, yeah, like, yo. you're like, yo, she's her, she ain't got <laughs> But that's because <laughs> Which yeah. one? So the breast? the breast is gonna get the reaction from me because I I'm used to I'm used to Dawson man back in the nineties the booties was out the the pom pom shorts were shorting in okay. Dawson 
and I was enjoying. Okay. So even though it was a lot, I'm I'm used to it. And even though I'm team free the nipple, the nipple gonna get the reaction. See, that's my from theory. Me. I think that nipples, for some reason, it gets the reaction. It's crazy because if if there's anything you should be used to seeing, it's nipples because of breastfeeding. Nah, but it's, it's the way it gets snatched. It's like the last thing you did was suck it, and then it's gone. You don't see them no more. I'm confused. Explain. So as a man, <laughs> as a man, you're born into this world, yeah, and you're latching on, mm, yeah, like everybody else. Depends. Like the girls depends in this depends world. how depends how long you get. You might get a, you might get into the years. If you're lucky, like, like every other girl. As if well. you're lucky, yeah. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, now you're having a bottle. Titty gone, latch gone. Like girls. Titty no, but gone. they have their own titties. They see titties on a regular, but man, them. That's it. The titty gone. Okay. You can't see the titty nowhere but the top shelf. Are you saying to me that guys shelf. are attracted to titty because of initial breastfeeding? Yeah, probably. Oh, that's so. Probably, like, probably. Because what you do, what, when you have a sexual encounter with a guy and he sees the tea, what do you that's do? He such, sucks it. That's such Freudian thinking. He sucks think? it though. He's like, ah, oh, the last time I saw this. I... No. Okay. No? I, I don't know. I don't do them things there. Okay, cool. Yeah. I forgot you're a virgin. Sorry, I apologize. Um, <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, nah. Do you know what's making me laugh? Yeah, <laughs> when I say these things, yeah. <laughs> well, you don't hear. I'm trolling. That's the thing. I'm trolling myself. <laughs> the only virgin at what age? Yeah. Get out of here, sis. Like I'm going on about DLT motor content, but I'm telling you, I've been enjoying. You're enjoying. I know you're enjoying. I've been enjoying the I content. Know you're enjoying. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. You ain't telling these me. These girls look. Did all of them get the memo? Like all of them, all of them are in shape. All of them, everything's. They knew what they were come. They, they knew what they had come to people do. People were preparing, boy, and yeah. they were telling people. They knew what they had come. It to It sucks do. to be you if you're the girl that said, "Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna hit the gym," and you didn't hit the gym, and you went to DLT, DLT motor like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it sucks to be you. Damn. It sucks to be you because every every girl I've seen, their stomach is on flat, flat. The booty is booty in. Everything's looking as it's supposed to look. Mm. So I feel sorry for you. Feels the girl. But then, but then, what age? Because DLT is quite a young thing, now. There's people in their thirties at DLT. Yeah, but it's like early thirties. Uh, yeah, early thirties and and then early twenties, isn't it? It's the. Uh, yeah, like. I think it's easier to have your stomach on flat, flat them young, them young ages there. You think early thirties is young? I mean, I take it fine. I mean, early thirties, my stomach was a lot flatter than it is now, boy. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I think I'm going to give these men them this summer. I feel like you've got that, you know, like when people initially get married mm. and then they bring out the, I still got the sauce. I'm married, but I still got the sauce. I feel like that's where you're trying to, that's yeah, where you're that's headed. What, that's that's what what you're headed into. Like, I'm, like, I'm taken. Yeah, but don't, don't. But don't get it twisted. Yeah. I'm like, don't just leave you like your, your wife and that around If I was single right now, yeah. this same my friend that I went out with, yeah that just had the baby. Yeah. I remember we met up outside, like we, I was already at the restaurant Then she was like, oh, I'm walking up. So I came outside to meet up with her and she was walking up. I was like, no, she's a baddie, you know. She's come with I energy. F- listen, I said, girl, for someone that just had a baby two months ago, mm. Hmm? Mm. and the body was bodying. And the thing is, when I'm not one of those people that will say that someone looks nice if they don't look nice. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're my friend. I'll just be like, she looks okay. She looks yeah, all yeah. right. Mm. That's AKA, it's not creme de la creme. But if I tell you, you look good, I'm not joking. I don't give compliments for free. Mm. You're my friend. You know how I am. When she was walking up towards me, I said, I said, is that you? Okay. Hmm. That just reminded me, that skipped me back to when we were talking about um, Summer Walker and mm. Tiana Taylor. Mm. Because did you see her body in the video? I mm-hmm. think you sent me the video. Mm-hmm. Did you see her body? Mm-hmm. She, but I spoke about Summer Walker's body before. No, I'm talking about Tiana Taylor. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I forget say that Summer Walker's also Summer, just had kids. I'm forgetting. But next to Tiana Taylor, I mean, it's not even a conversation. Very, oh. She was giving the I'm flat, not going to lie to you. Flat. When, when I'm... When I, you know them days where you can't bother to work out or you're thinking about eating that mm. that trash? I, I think about it, women like I need to stop. No, I think about women like that. Because I'm like, damn, you ain't had no children. You have no business being chunky. You have had no kids. There's no excuse. If people like that. Yeah, she flat like 
Because I remember her comeback video after the first child. You know, you remember the, the one where she was doing the gym dancing yeah, 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 thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that video. But she basically still looks exactly like the that. The thing is, I feel, I feel like Tiana Taylor is a bit on the skinny side for me. Like if I was, if I was, very if slim. I was into women mm. in a sexual way, she wouldn't be my type. She's not my type. Body physique well, wise. I need to see her body properly. My kind of I woman, think I think she probably is, you know. No, my no. kind of woman would be someone like Chloe Bailey. Yeah, I mean, Megan I do the, like I do Megan, like them thicker. Megan yeah, the Megan. Yeah, because it's it's still it's giving. I've got booty. I've got small waist, mm, mm. but you can. It's a natural body. Yeah, um, I, I, and it's I think not that, too I think slim. That yeah, I think a Megan, Megan and a Chloe mm. will have a harder time snatching back. I like don't how, mind like about how, that. Like how, um, I don't. I don't Tiana mind. Taylor I don't has. mind about the snatch back. Yeah. I don't care about the snatch back. Yeah, Tiana Taylor looks good, but mm. if. if I was into women in a sexual way. She wouldn't be the woman, type of woman that yeah, I would yeah. fear to. Body shape wise. I hear that. And I wouldn't go for these BBL ones either. I'm definitely. Even though I want a BBL. In a thousand lifetimes. Ever. Ever. Even though I want a BBL myself. Ever. Even though I want one myself, I wouldn't. They're enticing. It looks nice in clothes. But it's like McDonald's. It's like you know when you take that bite, it's not gonna. It's not... <laughs> Do you know what? It's true because you're like, oh, I'm feeling for McDonald's. People be hankering, you know? hankering. Go there, buy go the, to the whole... drive through. You go through all that. As when you, you finish that a... meal, you're not satisfied. You'll be depressed. You're not satisfied. You'll be thinking, what have I done? It's lackluster. Yeah, lackluster. You'll be saying, why word. not I just heat up the McDonald's you know I have at home? <laughs> you know what? I <laughs> had yeah. jollof rice in that fridge. You know. And, and, I, and I filled up my belly planting. with this rubbish. And I came outside. In fact, I even went on Just Eat to order it and pay <sighs> delivery charge. And, and now you have soggy fries. Mm. God. <laughs> that, that part. That is BBL. <laughs> That's so annoying about takeout, you know. I'm not even going to lie. Because you'll be craving. The pictures. It's the pictures. <laughs> the pictures are HD. The, the way be, the light is hitting. You will be craving. The salad is fresh. Your mouth will be salivating mm. at the thought of this Chinese. The Chinese will come. It's just oil. It's just oil. Oh, Everything, God. everything's beige. Oh. Listen, <laughs> the way these people do. No, can we talk about it this year? You see, back in the day, mm. when, you, when I used to order Chinese, any sort of Chinese fried rice. Yeah. There would be peas yeah, in there. Yeah, there would bring peas in there. And carrot. And carrot. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, yeah. Now, you order Chinese fried rice. There's egg and whatever protein meat. That you ordered. And rice. No greenery. It's just At brown. All. Why At is all. that? Can we bring peas back into our Chinese? I please? stopped with the Chinese, you know. I love the flavors. I can't lie. I, I haven't just, stopped because I, stopped. I have the I, and it gets me every time. I'll crave it like oh, yeah, and then I'll buy it, and then I'll be upset. Nah, every single time. I think it's that change that you're talking about. I I just I just feel like it's not healthy. Whereas I used to not see the health side at all. I, oh, yeah, yeah, I still yeah, get yeah, a craving yeah. for Asian food, mm. or rather East Asian food. But now mm-hmm. I'll get the Japanese, I'll get the the, the ramen, or I'll go yeah, to yeah, Wagamama. Yeah, yeah. No, don't get me don't get me wrong. Like every once, I mean, I'm st- I'm still transitioning out. Mm. But every once in a while, I will have a craving for takeout, and then I'll have that. But Dami, are you gonna enjoy it? That's are why you, I don't. That's why McDonald's, Burger King, KFC. You don't really see me buying that anymore. Never. I'm more of a Apart rice from person. The, I'm more of a rice apple pie. I buy the apple but pie. But apple pie don't slap like it used to slap. Uh, you know, I had it the other day. It wasn't that bad, you know? No, it doesn't, yeah, it wasn't that bad. But it doesn't slap like it used to slap. You know when apple pie was 99p? Yeah, yeah, back in the back. back in. You know, you used to, get two, used to be able to get two. That's back in the day. Yeah. The apple pie, even the outside, the Crispy. actual pastry itself was sweet. Mm. It's not like that anymore. I don't no, know what they not. took out of it. It doesn't slap. Sugar. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't be buying it. Yeah, they took the sugar out. It still hits. It hits, still hits a specific spot that but I've not found anything else that hits that. The spot. only, the only. I do. Mm. I how do you enjoy apple pie? I just bite the head off, man. Okay. I, like, I I buy the McFlurry. I'll buy a McFlurry. Are you doing up bits? I can't do any cream based things from McDonald's anymore. <laughs> I used to do. I used to do the the, the milkshake, and then ten minutes later. <laughs> I'll find Literally. out. Yeah, I'll find <laughs> out. It started with nourishment. Yeah. I used to bang nourishment oh, in school. Yeah. And then one day I banged it 
and it banged me back. And I said, I used to mix nourishment hey. with this is so go on so black. I used to mix nourishment. Not the super malt now played. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Down into the blood clot zone. What the hell? And then I upgraded. And then I upgraded. Nourishment. What the hell? <laughs> what? What the hell? And then I upgraded to nourishment and Guinness. What the hell? Vanilla. Mm-hmm. What? It makes it creamy. The hell? It makes it creamy. <laughs> oh my shake. god! Are you being for real? Nourishment and Super Bowl. <laughs> that house must have been hot <laughs> and thick. The you know air what? must have been you know thick. It's funny. I'm actually, as I've said it, I'm actually. Cr- I want to know if it still bangs. I'm gonna try it again. Listen, the way gonna you are gonna be making sound effects. I actually give my volump shape to gas. No, I give credit <laughs> to Supermalt. Supermalt has got the cal- Supermalt's got the calories to do it. Yeah. The shape that I have. Mm-hmm. Supermalt every day, you'll have a bum quickly. You'll have something. Just trying to do BBL. Don't yeah, you'll do- have something because Supermalt got, super the, got the calories involved. Super malt in uni every day. I was drinking it like it was <laughs> like it was medicine. Wow. My vitamins. Super malt, bro. Nourishment and super it malt. It makes it thicken. Mm. I know what that would do. God damn. <laughs> Nourishment Don't and super me. malt. Slaps. The way that I said that as, <laughs> as absolute banter because it could never be. It could be. And it was. <laughs> so the last one, but I don't think you'd have seen it because it's literally a right now thing yeah, that's yeah, unfolded. Yeah. Let's go. Abba and Preach. Do you know who Abba and Preach are? They're like right. um, a podcast, YouTube show. Two uh-huh. of them, two black guys, um, um, American mm. or Canadian. I think you might have sent them to me. Before. I'm sure I have because like yeah. they do some content that I like. Yeah, like they yeah, kind of yeah. balance. They have some wild views, but not mm. wild. Mm. As in they, they everything's validated, mm. contextualized. Mm. Anyway, they have a relationship with uh, Fresh and Fit. Mm-hmm. That that is a not a good one. If you know mm. what I mean, they at odds, and they've been beefing for time. Mm. But I've been preach barely acknowledge them I mean other than to just cuss small small yeah anyway fresh and fit when you see this yeah you're gonna you're not gonna believe that this is real life fresh and fit especially Myron was now cussing the Abba and Preach guy right Mm -hmm. one of the um guys Abba he's like East African Mm. looking I'm not sure where he's from but he's East African basically Mm -hmm. and Abba is a dark skinned black guy Mm. I'm sorry Preach is a dark skinned black guy Myron is now doing up um, um, Ooga Booga and Monkey and all of that talking about Preach the dark skin guy he's cussing them both but he's specifically doing that got a wig put on the thing so he got like the dreads and then doing a whole like pantomime of this dark skin black guy being a monkey being a devout human doing all of that but Rachel's... he's not <clears throat> if, if my memory says me right is Marlon the one that Myron. Oops. Myron. Is he he's the, the one that looks, that looks like East African. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the lighter skinned guy. So he's done doing all of this big, long ass episode and typical Abba and Preach. They just like, they'll get a clip from the internet, mm. play it and then just start breaking and it then down. They, and they break it down and banter about it. So they're like, yeah, yeah. this is like the, the worst rebuttal that mm. you could do. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it really shows you guys in the worst light like, possible, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Then Myron doubles down and <sighs> does another video. Strong and strong. Puts on a... Hood, white hood, starts doing a whole KKK rant. What? But doing he's got, a but Nazi the, sign. And the other guy, black. Like, not that he's not black because he's East African, but he's like... No, no, no. Uh, Myron, the East African um, complexion guy, is the one that's doing the whole rant. That's what I'm saying. The other one's the dark skin guy. But the dark skin guy, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Your co-host is a yeah. dark skin black man and you're making jokes like that. Yeah. Doing Nazi salute, <sighs> so doing all dumb. of that. Then they had... Um, some right wing uh, leader on on the the other podcast that they had, and just pearly things who I don't know because mm. we never spoke about. Just I don't pearly like thing. her. There was a big thing we'll about, talk about her. her next yeah, time. so even she was there, and even she stepped out because of how bad it was getting. It is wild, but I guess it's a thing that you kind of got to see because I don't need to see stuff. Essentially, like I think I think Fresh and Fit's done. That's how bad it is. It's like when when people see it. 
it would just be cancelled by itself. I don't know because there's some people that will follow them to the end. Of know? course, but when I mm. <sighs> it, if it was this is what annoys me because there's podcasters who have something valuable to say, mm. and there's black male podcasters that have mm, something mm. valuable to say but because of those type of podcasters we're going to be hearing this is why they should they should collect all the podcasters yeah, microphones. yeah, yeah. Mm, they mm. should take their microphone we should start um banning them from talking we should blah, blah. oh flip sake man and it's bad bad it's like not because you know for example a lot of people like give dave Chappelle a bly because he might do jokes on things that are definitely offensive but they're yeah. executed so well it's an that, almost tasteful yeah type so then of, you're like okay cool this is like literally the most bottom barrel basic, type of non but, you, but, but we already know bad. that these guys know I've, we spoke about them before but we didn't say their names yeah they're dumb they're dumb dumb like i can't sit through more than a clip a tiktok mm, clip mm, of mm, their mm. content because the things that they say it's like just shut up you're talking like you're not an, you don't sound educated right now I'm sorry you don't sound like somebody that has actual logic or internet mm, mm. so I'm not surprised yeah no this is I'm not surprised by that I didn't I, you know me I'm bad with names so like Aberon Preach Preach you've I, I think when you said dreadlock, Dreads yeah 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 I, you've shown me their content before and I enjoyed it and they seem a bit more intellectual yeah you know I mean a bit more they level headed with- more calm about things more like and like us they will approach things if they're at odds yeah then they'll approach it at odds they'll approach and they'll it explain as, their they'll just what have a conversation think. it's not like i'm trying to bite you yeah. bite you and blah, blah, blah. but there's certain male podcasters that are out there and it's like you don't think about how you let me look at the time okay because i'm thinking about how, no, no, how no. much we want to go into this because this is a main topic yeah, yeah yeah because the thing is yeah there's some podcasters who I agree shouldn't have microphones. For sure. Because they don't know how to conduct themselves. You are on camera mm. or you are on audio. There is a, you have to have a level of professionalism in, in this podcasting thing. It's not, a, a, I've got an opinion and because I've got an opinion, I should just hook up a mic and camera and talk and publish it. There needs to be a level of policing around what people are allowed to and aren't allowed to post and how they do it. Mm. Because I feel like people have forgotten that podcasting is a form of um, any, like any other entertainment. You went to a concert. That stuff, there's a level of professionalism that Beyonce has to maintain on stage even mm, if things mm-hmm, go wrong. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When you release a, a a a musical piece, there's a level of pro, like professionalism you have to have around that. Comedians, a level of professionalism around that. TV hosts, a level of professionalism around that. The moment you are putting out any sort of entertainment content, journalistic content, any mm, content, mm. there needs to be a level of um, professionalism. Like you need to think about how you're conducting yourself and how you're going to be portrayed. Yeah, there is a level of acting in this. It's not mm. just sitting here. As much as we're chilled and this is our genuine friendship and how we genuinely talk all the time there's still a level of the camera is right there and the microphone is right here Mm. there's a level of that there's this other guy um i can't remember the name of his podcast but he there were were people talking about him a lot recently because he's the one that would have a black woman on the show and basically spend the whole time talking about this is my podcast you can't talk on my podcast He's a black guy. He's got like, um, I don't know if he's got twists in his hair or braids in his hair, or whatever. He's from the UK. Oh, snap. No. I'll, yeah. sh- I'll send it to you. Yeah. He's gone viral a few times on TikTok and on Twitter. Yeah. Surprising. Not surprised. And he'll have women on the show, including this pearly girl, because I think she's yeah, British. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's, she's not, she's not British. She's America, but she came over to like kind of. Okay. She was on, a, she was on one of his episodes. And you know, you have seen one of their clips because it's got that, there's that, um, there's this black girl, um, oh, ages ago I sent it to you in the DMs and there was this black girl with blue hair and this other black girl was shouting at her talking about how she's not a woman of God and that she's not the way that she portrays herself, that men don't like women that portray themselves yeah, like yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, she yeah. was really going at her. I can't remember that was the, on I his, remember the guy. That was on his podcast. Yeah. And since then, there's been other clips of him having other black women on the show and he's just rude. 
Mm. And I get it. It's your podcast. You invited them on your show, right? Fine. They might be talking over you here and there, but there's a way you conduct yourself. Yeah, yeah. Do you think we would have someone here and they're talking over us or they've been rude to us? You think we're going to be, we're going to be moving like we're on road? Yeah, you yeah. You know what? This is our podcast. You need to get, come on. But if it, yeah. There's a level of professionalism. Like there's certain aspects of your personality you might not want to show mm. on the podcast. And if you know you can't do that, don't have a podcast. The same and thing also with, assuming with... that the podcast isn't live, then you could respectfully say, look, we don't do that, et cetera, et cetera. And then edit that section out. Or you can be like, you know what? If it continues, like you could be like, okay, it seems like this isn't working out and lock off the whole thing. That means that episode mm, mm, doesn't mm, come out. Mm. People do these things and then they edit. We know what it takes. You don't just film end to end and publish it. There's things that are cut out, whatever. And you still publish that. And you thought that was okay. Mm. Like, I don't think all podcasters should take the lick for this sort of behavior, but there's certain types of people, behaviors that we should be like, yeah, that doesn't deserve to be a platform. Yeah. yeah. That shouldn't be on a platform. We shouldn't entertain it. They shouldn't go viral mm. because we put value on the wrong things. 100%. Sorry, that's my rant. No, no, but that's, it's, it's I haven't even seen it and it's it's riled me up. Do you get it? Like, yeah. why would you do that? And then as the dark skin guy that's on the show, you wanna stay there? Yeah, my my, my was my was part, partaking in the joke. Nah. But it was obviously Myron driving it because but when I tell you it's so bad, it's like literally not funny. It's, there's no taste to it. It's there's tasteful. no cl- it's just dry, dead jokes oh. and dead stereotypes. And being it's gonna petri- go viral. Yeah. Even though I get that. He's really struggling to um, to get one up on Abba and Preach because mm. they're very chilled and they're measured very chilled, and mature. Measured, matured and smart. So they say and, only what needs to be said. And when you're not smart, what do you do? You re- you 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 retract to a to a childish behavior. You, yeah, your only your only option is to act dumb yeah to act up because you don't have the intellect to be like okay i don't agree with xyz and this is why Mm -hmm. and abra and preach like you said like us they have the capacity to do that so you know what i understand i comprehend your point of view but this is why my point of view is different and they can have Mm -hmm. that conversation Mm -hmm. they don't know how to do that so what do they do and that's why you see it all the time on their podcast they just blow up they blow up they start shouting or they start um they have to the the only way to retaliate for them is to insult and cuss and belittle Mm -hmm, because they mm -hmm. don't know how to have an intellectual conversation they don't know how to have a debate and if you're having a podcast based founded on opinions and sharing your opinions you need to know how to debate from a level of no emotion like literally like okay yeah you can get riled up you can get upset or whatever but you still need to know how to conversate if you don't have to conversate why do you have a podcast at all at all i wouldn't even have checked the follow-up if it wasn't for a friend of mine you know the notes on the uh, insta mm. he just said on insta oh my god i can't believe fresh and fit i'm never and i was like you can't be talking about the first one because the first one was dumb, but it wasn't like outrageous to the point where you would have to comment on it. So I was like, what happened now? I went back and I said, there's more because the first one is bad. I'm surprised the first one didn't come up. I haven't seen the first one. The first, the first one you probably didn't see because it's specifically about two YouTubers. Mm. So it's like, if you're into them, maybe. maybe but then if you're, if you're not, not, you can miss it. But then the other one is just racism I just don't, against I just, black people. It's and you're black wild. yourself. It's wild. For... It's wild. But then he looks kind of, he, he, he doesn't look, he's, he, he doesn't look, how do I put this? You know, like in Africa, there's a lot of people that migrate from other countries in. Right. He looks like. He looks like his, an immigrant. He, in his ancestry, it yeah. looks like his ancestry could be. One of those situations where Mm. like people from Asia came and settled in the eastern parts of Africa. Mm. He, that's the vibe. I I know what you mean. He never gave me black vibe anyway. He didn't. I didn't look at him and think he was black. I Mm. looked at him Mm. and thought he was Asian. To be honest. Mm. Mm. But let's 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 see it unfold online. And I, Mm -hmm. yo, I can't. I don't even need to see it. I don't need to see it. Wild. I don't need to see it. Like wild. And so, anyway, 
Yeah. It's, oh, man. Like, so bottom barrel. I can't... That's what I said, it's bottom I, barrel. I literally cannot even uh, articulate we, uh, we need to, uh, how uh, basic it is. And you know what? He's done it because he knows it's going to go... That kind of thing will go viral. It's going to go viral. It's going to get people riled up and talking. That's it why really he did will. it. And it's it's like, a hate campaign, though. Like, as in, against himself, almost. Not almost. It is well, a hate campaign. Yeah. It's a hate campaign against himself. Any any coloured person, person of colour, black, Asian, whatever, who Well, he also offended Jews in it by 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 do by doing Oh, he's his done at it. Thing. Yeah, yeah, he's done yeah, he's done at it. You see, you, see, you see when you, you see when you do like racism against black people, you'll get cancelled, but you're not gonna get cancelled. Sorry to say, but you're not gonna get cancelled, innit? Because mm. that's still okay. But anti Semitism. Yeah, because then he didn't say anything specifically about Jews, but literally Kept on doing the nut, the Nazi anti. What's it? Anti Semitism. Semitism. Yes, Semitism. Yeah. I missed the T. That kept on. That like you my, are fin. My clip. My you clip are, was a clip of the thing. You are. You are. Fin. Can we source a clip? Yeah, my clip was from the. Epi- I'll send you the episode of of um, Abba and Preach where they were looking. So I'm I'm watching it through them clipping it. If you I need to I mean. find that clip. And I mean, we need to repeated. find that clip. We need to find that clip because they chopped it up only to show the bit that they to, to make it Obviously, make sense. Send me and then the... what they chopped up, I saw them do it like ten times. I'm or I'm... him rather. Sorry, oh, it was it was I, all Myron. No, it was all Myron. I need the clip of my. I need the clip so that. Yeah, I need. I need. You're to... just not gonna believe what you're seeing. I need to. I I need to see the clip. I, I might even. I might, guys, if I find it, I might. Yeah. So both both videos will be 20 minutes of your time. And I'll send you both so you have the, the context of the before and then the, yeah, the rebuttal. Guys, it's trigger, isn't it? It's going to be triggering for some people. Z. But just know, you're right, they're cancelled. Because that anti anti um, semitism. semitism mm-hmm. Forget about it. Um, <laughs> not me clicking like my dad would click when they're talking. They're Africans. Z. Yes. Um, um, that one, that one, yeah, yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Kanye. Wiley. Wiley. Is still suffering from okay, what yeah. he said. Kanye. The whole Adidas thing. Suffering. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Is that what they're doing now? Doing it all. Um, wow. Talk about bomb, dropping a bomb at the end. I know. A big bomb. Better than the bombs I was dropping after the, the nourishment and the supermarket. And all You're things. thinking about those sorts of bombs. I was thinking about my bum. But okay. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so that was the other thing. But, um. Guys, we are. I didn't even know it was break time. Yes, yeah, this week. That's This is the fourth. It's come to. It's come sure at the right time. Anyway. It's come at the right time. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it come, is, at the, it's, it's come at the right time. I need it. I need yeah. the break. How long are we on a break for? Couple weeks, two weeks. Okay, two week break, guys. We're gonna miss you. Mm-hmm. Low key, I'm kind of capping. I'm gonna. I'm. Not, Dami is gonna be chilling, I'm and she be, needs some time to chill. I'm gonna be chilling. Yeah, yeah, because guys, it's been a lot for me, and exactly. I need the break. I need this. Break. Yeah, I thought I is. needed. Previous breaks, but I need this one. Need this break, so but I guarantee when I come back, I will be, we will be refreshed. Mm-hmm. We'll be fit, and we'll be. <laughs> I didn't know if you were gonna catch it or not. <laughs> we will be ref- refreshed. Mm-hmm. We will be refreshed with more content to give you, um, and yeah, I don't have a shout out for this week. Um, I'm gonna just be very. Um, shout out to you! Shout out to Dami Zane this week. No, I was gonna, I was gonna be very cliche, and be like, I shout out all of you, all of our subscribers. Of course, every single subscriber on YouTube, every single repeated listener and follower on the audio platforms. Mm-hmm. All of you, I shout all of you out. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. And I say it, and I feel like the more I say it, it, it might seem like it's losing its value or its credibility in what I'm saying. But we can, words cannot express how much we value every single one of you that support our podcast. Mm-hmm. We've been around for over a year. We've 
grown to the size that we've grown. Mm-hmm. It's to other podcasts, it's small, but to us, it's ma- it's it's big. So, and we're on the road, yeah, mate, to a hundred to a hundredth episode. We're on the road. We are to on the road to a hundred episodes. Thousand, thousand subscribers. Is, is, that, is it thousandth? I don't know how to say it. Thousandth but, subscriber. Yeah, but we're on the road to that. We've already we've already surpassed thousands of of listens the, on the, the listens, audio the on the audios and the done, views. Mm-hmm. So we've done we've done all, we've done. I was gonna say all right, but I guess no, we've, we've done, done good, man. We've done good, and we're only gonna do better. We're, we're gonna. only gonna do better, and I believe this is episode seventy six. So we're not far off. We're not far from the hundred from mark. The hundred mark. So we'll make sure we do something special. We special. Will do something special. I'm thinking of hundred. Yeah, we'll 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 liaise. But guys, no, honestly. Have a lovely, lovely break from us as well. If you're new to the show, we have 76 now episodes on the roster. Uh-huh. Go back and pre and listen. If you mm-hmm. can't find episode 25 or 26, it's okay if you're on YouTube. Just go on Spotify or Apple. Music is there. You can listen to it. Just saying. Yeah. If you're not in the UK, you'll still see it. If you're in the UK, use a VPN or go and listen. No problem. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. We'll be back in two weeks. Right, I didn't know that. I'm actually really happy to hear. This has made my day. Uh, I need it. I know you need it. I need it. So yeah, man. Yeah, man. Until next time, guys. Peace. Peace.